Well, here's the start of my wood stove. Y'all missed several parts, but uh, basically needed to uh, heat up my shop and looking online for like used ones and they're 400 bucks for anything somewhat reasonable. So I just started price shopping and was gonna make my own, but buying brand new steel, pretty expensive, maybe several hundred dollars. So I ended up picking up this old boiler right here and had to uh, cut it because it was 55 inches long and then shorten it because I didn't want the whole length taking up a whole bunch of space. Here's a section that's cut out and this Baxter. Um, so I cut that out. It was a lot of work doing everything. There's paint on it, rust spots, but then I cut it out and re-welded it um, back together. But uh, that's just an old boiler and I picked that because it was perfect. So I picked it up for 50 bucks and you can see how thick the door is, it's half inch thick and the walls are three eighths, between a quarter and three eighths inch thick. So it's pretty heavy duty. And then that's the old boiler. There you see bolts here and there's a hole when I took that off. So I just cleaned it up and put it back together, but uh, just welded up hinges. So I had a door, it was double latching. Um, so you just pull this handle up, which I'm gonna change a handle later opens up just like a regular wood stove and then uh you can see i put fire rope right here that's just a grate and uh that's one spot that plate back there this can be welded on tabs there's rust so i had to fix that hole and then you can see around the back i uh made a, a flue just this was an eighth inch plate i had but uh, there was already the hole there, so I just kind of got lazy and I was like, well, I'll try to put it here even though it's not ideal and save some time, welded it up and uh, gave it a test light and it just was not burning right. So knew how to get it lower and I ended up cutting the hole there. I'm gonna have to cut this off, put it down there, patch that hole, and then that's just right here, quarter inch by uh, six by six tubing. And then it goes up to the future heat exchanger. Right now you can see it's just looking down into the stove. But all of these holes are going to have pipes running through them. Those are all the pipes. Some of them I bought, the round ones I just had sitting around. And uh, there's 28 of them. So this is 24 inches long or tall. And there's going to be baffles every six inches. So the air is gonna have to flow up and out that, come around, come around, come around, and then up and out the flue, and then out the chimney. So the whole time it's heating up those pipes. And there's gonna be a six inch gap between uh, each uh, baffle. These are the baffles. This is eighth inch plate, and then, uh, I wanted to be able to clean it out because I didn't want it, eventually it's gonna get mucked up, all sorts of stuff on it and my efficiency is gonna drop. So I cut open access ports and I just wanna be able to clean it. And uh, also these holes, I did not wanna cut them out with an angle grinder. So using an acetylene torch, I know they're sloppy but all of them fit in fairly well but I can fill that with weld and uh, grind it up but uh you can see as cutting the holes it warps this substantially so for me the next step is start putting these plates in and then uh fix the warp as i go but uh already bought the blower here's a blower it's gonna be on the back some sort of way, but I build a box back here. So this is gonna blow fresh air in and then out through there after it gets heated up. But uh, there's a lot more details I'm doing, but uh, this is just an update. 1.1, because kind of missed the first part, but most of the first part was just building this. 
which is just a basic wood stove. So didn't miss much. And I'll keep you updated.